When did you know you wanted to first be a writer? Probably knew, uh, probably when I was young, maybe seventh or eighth grade. I just uh, had older brothers and sisters that took me to a lot of sporting events, and then I would, uh, was just fascinated by the atmosphere and going to big games. And then probably a year or two later, I would just kind of start jotting down some things. It would be like a blog today is what I was doing. I was just going to write what I'd seen and opinions and stuff like that. So that became, uh, it kind of gave me a little bit of a foundation. Right out of college, I got learned to, I got a job as a pub relations director for a uh, professional sports team. And so you did a lot of writing then. That we put out. So that kind of that kind of kept me in it, and then like a year later, I got back into the newspaper. So uh, what was like the biggest problem with this? As far as, you know? as, far as getting a job, mm -hmm. or just uh, early on, it's just it's making contacts because you want you want to know people in the business. Uh, you want to start working in a in a small scale. You want to start doing some. Uh, anything to kind of get your foot in. And so making those contacts early is kind of hard. So, but once you make those and, you, and you've got a little bit of an aptitude, then it kind of opens more doors. What's your favorite one? You know, the best part someone once said is that the travel is intoxicating. And what they meant was, I mean, in what I've done, I think I've been to every part, every corner of the U.S. just to cover different events. So uh, just, to, just to be able to do that, um, to be able to, just, uh, to go to different parts of the country and, and cover events, I mean, there's, uh, I think early on I had an opportunity to go to a baseball team, like, to a, a spring training in Florida for like two weeks. And the weather is like this every day. Uh, you're, you're talking to some of the top athletes in the world. You're getting incredible stories from them they've gone through to get to where they are. Um, that that's that's right Do you ever like consider any other uh, professions like Well well I will say this I, I I started taking some marketing classes toward the end of my uh, year, my final two years of college. So uh, I found that to be kind of fun. Public relations part of it. I never really thought about it until I, I got the job in public relations right out of college. So yeah, that was fun. It's a lot more transient. I mean, in other words, you, I don't know. It's hard to stay in that job unless you get. If you want to stay in sports, you could do uh, maybe a public relations with the pro sports team. Now, those guys, if you want to stay somewhere for a long time, some of those guys have been in the years. Whether it's the PR director for a baseball team. What you do is you, you you contact the media for like press conferences. You update them on maybe player injuries. Uh, you, you would write uh, stories for the program, uh, programs that came out. Now those people maybe are updating the website every day. Uh, maybe doing video, uh, little video highlights, uh, writing about maybe every facet of the organization. It might be a, a new player that's. Uh, signed or if they make a change in the management, you know, GMs have changed. So it's constant. And I'll say this, people that do the job today, like in college, if you are a, uh, if you're a public relations director in college, which is called sports information, you've got, you've got so many facets to your job now where you're having to update a website. Now you're doing uh, interactive, uh, I guess what you call like media guys. So, so there's constantly updating video on that where it used to just be a printed product now they update it and they live in here. They're shooting videos all the time. They're writing all the time. It's it's uh, it's almost uh, it's almost a, a non-stop 